So I haven't posted on this channel in like three to four weeks and it's because I've been marking assignment after assignment after assignment. I have three year 12 classes and over like 75 assignments to mark and it's really time consuming. But yesterday, I found this incredible hack on Microsoft Word which makes marking and annotating and commenting on a student's work just literally 10 times faster. I promise you that is not clickbait in the thumbnail. At least 10 times faster this hack is. So stick around, I'm gonna show you an example of it in action. And then I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Whether you're using Windows or Mac, I'm gonna show you on both systems. This is going to make commenting on student assignments, giving feedback, actually annotating with the final rubric just so much faster. So let's dive on in and see how this works. Okay, so just for a bit of context, before I go ahead and show you why I'm doing what I'm doing, this is the sort of rubric that I'm using to mark my mathematics assignments. I have to find evidence in the student's response of these different dot points and annotate it on their work. So for example, I'm just gonna zoom in here. I've got to look for evidence of them accurately translating all aspects of the problem by identifying mathematical concepts and techniques, blah, blah, blah. And the important part is I have to, once I find that evidence on their Word document, I have to annotate it and say, this is that evidence. And I'm gonna show you that in action now. So here I am in a fake math report. I'm not actually gonna show you a proper one just due to privacy reasons for the students, but let's pretend that dot point that we were just looking at is this one here. In the past, I've had to insert a comment and type accurate translation of all aspects of the problem by identifying mathematical concepts and techniques. Now I'm a fast typer. Uh, but that still takes, you know, like 10 full seconds, maybe 15 seconds. And that's for 75 different assignments and each dot point, there's like 11 dot points in each assignment. So the time adds up and it takes forever. So what I'm gonna show you how to do today is to instead of having to type all that out, just be able to insert a new comment and with a simple command like 43, hit spacebar, and it automatically generates it for you. I don't know if you're as impressed with that as I am, but I am so, so excited about this skill. Like, let me just do it again one more time to show you how fast it is. Insert, new comment. I type 43, which is my shortcut and hit spacebar, and it inserts it for me. That is literally 10, maybe 20 times faster than actually typing it all out. And you could say, Mark, why don't you just like copy and paste the comment in instead of typing it out, which you can do. But if I'm going to copy and paste, I have to have it open on another document. It means I have to alt tab, highlight, copy, alt tab back, paste. And that is also time consuming. This is just so much faster. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to set this up yourself and you can customize it so whatever comments or annotations you need to leave on students' work, you can, and you can customize it to your specific niche or your subject, uh, and it's really fast, and you only have to do the setup one time, and it's gonna be in your Word documents forever, okay? So if you're excited, stick around. I'm about to show you how to set this up. Okay, we're gonna do some split screening here. I'm gonna have Windows on one side, Mac on the other, and we're gonna do each step one by one. So whichever one you're using, grab your device, open up Word and follow along with this procedure. Okay, first thing on Windows, we're gonna go uh, We're gonna go file and then head down to options and then open up my options. And first thing you wanna make sure is that you do not have modern comments enabled. If you have modern comments enabled, it will not let you use autocorrect, which is what we're gonna do. It won't let you use autocorrect within the comment. So untoggle that off untoggle it off, toggle it off, so you do not have modern comments enabled. Okay, so for Mac, first thing you wanna do is go to Word and then Preferences, and then we're going to go into the General tab, and this is where we're going to disable modern comments, so untick this. Now, next thing on Windows is we're gonna to head to the same menu here, we're gonna to go to Proofing, and we're gonna to go to Autocorrect Options, and once we're in here, this is, I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is what we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in what command we wanna write in and then what we wanna replace that command with. Now, to get the autocorrect section up, we head back, we go to autocorrect here and our replace is the code that we're going to replace. So I've already done it for 4.3. The reason it's 4.3 is because it's in the formulate section and it's dot point number three. But let's say I'm going to do formulate number six, which is the like lower version of that. I type in 4.6 as my command. And over here, I'm going to be writing translation of simple aspects of the problem by identifying, identifying mathematical concepts 
and techniques. So I write it one time and I click add. And now that's in my Word system. Anytime I open up Microsoft Word, if I type FOR6 and hit spacebar, it's gonna auto correct to that phrase. So now I can click OK, I can click OK again. And back here, let's pretend this time it's not the high level, it's the low level, the one I just created. Insert a new comment and I just type FOR6 and hit spacebar and bang, it's in there. So for me personally, all I have to do is go to my ISMG, my rubric, which I'll pop on the screen now, and I just have to translate all of these dot points into commands in Microsoft Word. So formulate one, so four one, four two, four three, four four, four five, four six. Very rarely do these ones come up, so I'll just type them in the off chance they do. And similarly, Sol one, Sol two, Sol three, Sol four, Sol four, blah blah blah, and so on. Right. So it takes a little bit of time to set them all up. Maybe it'll take you. 10 minutes to type all of these in but once they're in every single time you mark an assignment for example this one i can just go ahead and type one in we'll do one more together in case you missed it i'm going to go file uh and then options proofing autocorrect options let's do solve two which is discerning application of mathematical concepts and techniques relevant to the task. So instead of typing that every single time, I can highlight here is evidence of criteria number two. I'm gonna go ahead into review, new comment, sol2 spacebar, and I'm done. That is literally mind blowing to me. It is going to make my assignment marking and annotations so much faster. It's also going to encourage me to give feedback, especially feedback that I regularly give, you know, like show working or um, make sure you uh, connect your assumptions to the observations or whatever the common thing that I'm going to give feedback on. I can make it a shortcut, make it a command, and it's just going to make my life a dream. So whether you're in tertiary education, secondary education or primary education, if you need to do drafting, commenting, annotations on any student bodies of work, this is going to make your life so much better. So if you found this helpful, guys, make sure that you like the video. Uh, it tells YouTube that I'm doing the right things with the videos and you enjoy the content. Share it with any teachers that you know of. Feel free to share it around your school if you think other people can get stuff out of this. Make sure you share the channel around. Really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next tip video.